Okay, this morning, I'm Kenner Johnson. I'm uh, Royce Johnson's son, and I'm going to interview him for his uh, interviews for Common Schools of Woods County, Texas. Uh, can you state your full name for me? Now you let talk up a little okay. bit. Can you state your Can you state your full name for me? Uh, Royce R. Uh, Johnson. Okay. Can you tell me when you were born? Uh, yeah, and uh, born in Amarillo, Texas, on uh, September the thirtieth. Uh, let me see if I can figure out what year it was. But I well, you're fixing to have a birthday, so it was 1927. 1927, yeah. yeah. Uh, can you tell me what your parents' names were? Uh, my dad's name was Louie, Louie Johnson, and my mother's name was uh, uh, Grace uh, Mundy Johnson. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what uh, Louie's occupation was? His occupation. What, you, what did Louie do for a living? Yeah, do that again. What did Louie do for a living? Oh, did Louie? Louie was a, a railroad telegraph operator. That's the reason he was up in, in the Amarillo. Okay. Uh, what schools did you attend in Woods County? What schools did you attend in Woods well, County? Well, I went to, uh, to the, the North Ward School and the South Ward School and the uh, high school. Uh, then I uh, I went to school at uh, Coldwater in the primary school, and uh, I guess that's about all. Okay. Well, today is something they'd like to uh, concentrate on the Coldwater schools, so keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. Um, what lower grades or high school did you attend everything and stuff in in Coldwater or did you go to Winsboro to graduate or how did that all take place? Do you remember? But my, uh, uh, in, in high school, uh, I uh, had to read your, read your subjects, you know, and uh, that's about it. How about Gladewater? Gladewater. I was in the first grade. Uh, uh, my dad was working down there, and and we moved down there, and, and uh, lived down there for uh, about a year or, or more. And uh, we, uh, when we come time to go to go to school, I got old enough to go to school. Uh, I had the ordinary subjects, just uh, reading, writing, arithmetic. Okay, the same way with, with Coldwater School? Uh, they were about the same as, as Coldwater. Uh, uh, maybe a little bit advanced, but not a lot. All those schools were about the same back in those days because of the boom down in, down in uh, uh, Gladewater. Uh, you, everything was kind of accelerated, and uh, we uh, every everything was seemed like you had you had too much of everything. Okay. Um, do you know what some of the uh, mascots' names were for your schools, and maybe what colors they were? The name of the school, and you talking about now down in Gladewater? Yes. It was just, as far as I know, it was just a Gladewater school. Okay, but no mascot or anything like that? I don't remember any mascot. Of course, I was first grader, okay. and I wouldn't pay that much attention to that. Okay, did you mention that you were in Winsboro and stuff too? That was uh, also, did they have a mascot in Winsboro? Yeah. Do you remember what the name was? The mascot for Winsboro. Well, the mascot for Winsboro was, back in those days, it was the woodchuck, the Winsboro woodchucks, and uh, but uh, they disposed of that name of uh, a woodchuck back uh, some some time after I uh, 
started to school up up there. It was just part of the uh, 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 curriculum up there. I, I, time, by the time I got up there and got to school, uh, they would be, uh, it wasn't, they didn't use the wood chucks much, about, uh, about two years, and, and then they go into Red Raiders. Okay. Uh, do you remember how old you were when you started school at uh, Coldwater? Uh, I don't, just tell you the truth, I don't, uh, I don't remember much of the first uh, little bit. Uh, but uh, I, pretty soon I, I, I guess I got old enough to remember things. You know? yeah, I th well, I think it's, let me help you. You're probably maybe six or seven, so that would have been like 1934, somewhere yeah. in that neighborhood. Yeah, and I, and, uh, when I was see 1933, uh, yeah. Uh, I remember the th the thing that I remember that we went to school. We had we had to walk to school, and we had to. Uh, there was a place for you. There was a, a pretty wide branch uh, that we had to to cross, and we just well, there was a log on it. It had a tree had fell over, and then we walked across this log, and that that was on the way to school. You had to. You had to go, you had to go across that log to get to school. Okay. How far did you have to walk to school? Oh, about a mile and a half or something like that. Did uh, anybody, any siblings or any friends walk with you when you did? Oh uh, yeah, we uh, we had a bunch of people that uh, the Williams uh, family and. Uh, uh, there were several others that I can't remember all of them, but uh, there was there was there was quite a few people. Okay, was the uh, school out in the country, or was it on a longer road? Or? It was it was out on a, out on a country road, uh, it, but it was pretty isolated. It was uh, uh, it, it wasn't something that you everybody knew where it was. Okay. Did uh, when you were saying you walked, did anybody ride any horses or anything like that to school? No, people didn't 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 ride horses to that school. Uh, I know there were other schools in the uh, vicinity where people would uh, when they uh, exceeded the curriculum uh, that there was offered at these different schools. They would. Uh, they would uh, uh, ride a horse to go to another school that offered more, more to the uh, uh, needs of what they had. Okay, how about if it was uh, when you went to school? If it was raining or snowing or anything like that, what did you do well, then? Well, when it was raining or snowing, we just we just went on just like you would today. The only thing about we had to walk, and uh, we had. had we had brain coats, uh, but uh, it, it, it was just, it was just pretty rough. It just, just you, you had to be pretty careful because it, it was slick and, and it, it was just, just like it is now when it comes to big rain. Okay, uh, the, the school did it have a lunchroom, auditorium, or anything like that, or? Describe the school for me. We didn't know what a lunch room was. We, uh, uh, we everybody carried their lunch if they planned on eating. And uh, most, most of them, uh, it was the, uh, the food that you carried in your lunch was uh, uh, whatever they, you had to eat at home. Uh, you had, we, I remember we had uh, Sweet potatoes. You always count on a sweet potato in your lunch, and it wasn't very good when it got cold. But we, we was there to eat, and we had some some uh, other sandwiches made out of us sausage, and we everybody had sausage. They killed hogs and, and had sausage, so we uh, we had plenty of 
of um, pork and things, things like that. And uh, but remember, this is this is put between the biscuits. It wasn't it wasn't something that we uh, uh, that you should go down to the store and, and buy a big deal and have. A, uh, we didn't have any light bread. Very seldom we had light bread. And uh, I mean that that was just a, it was a it was just a, uh, a treat okay. to have light bread. How about uh, was the school? I mean, you were talking about the weather. Was the school heated or anything like? How did you heat the school? Do you remember? The, 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 how, did, how did the school get heated? The, we get heated. Yeah. We had a we had a big stove. Uh, I'm thinking back. It seemed like seemed like that stove was about uh, big enough to use cordwood. And I'm talking about cordwood is wood about that long, about 30 inches or more than more than 30 inches, about 40 inches long. And uh, somebody would they go out there and cut wood during the summer, and uh, they were all had wood, had kids in the school. They just helped up and cut the, cut the school in, and if they if when when it got chilly in the, in the schoolroom, or well, the teacher would appoint somebody to to feed the stove. Okay. Uh, how about when it was in the summertime? What? In the summertime, how does it, how did you cool the school? School in the summer. Yeah, school. We didn't have to school in the summer. No summer. Okay. No, no. How about well, springtime? Yeah. And before you got out of school. When I got out of school. Before, no, before you got out of school in the springtime when it warmed up, how did you cool the school? Did you did they open the windows or or? Oh, how did we cool the school? Yes. Oh. Well, just like you cool your house, we just uh, we had a few windows on it, and we opened the doors and windows, and, and that was our air conditioning. Okay. Um, how about uh, what time does school start? Do you remember? In the mornings. It was awful early. It seemed to me like uh, it. It probably wasn't as early as it seems now. But it, it was. Uh, seemed like about seven thirty. Okay. How about when you? When did they release you? When did you go home from school? When you went, went home was about. I think they. Turned out school where we could uh, uh, start home about somewhere around four. Okay. And uh, do you uh, do you ever miss? Did you ever miss any school to uh, work at home or in the field? Yeah. Well, we didn't. We didn't have. We did. We could be doing, but uh, yes, we didn't have to 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 do that much. Uh, uh, we were blessed with uh, with my granddad, and, and uh, we lived with him, and, and uh, so they could, the way it went on with whether we was there or not. And uh, however, uh, when when we weren't working, when we weren't going to school, uh, uh, there was plenty of work to do. Okay. Do you, let me ask you this: Do you remember any of the teachers? By name, I remember uh, one or two teachers, but I don't remember the, really remember their names real good. Uh, but uh, I just don't remember all that. Okay, uh, let me ask you this: Were all the teachers female, or were they any male teachers, or just one teacher, or? Oh well, there were two teachers in that school. Then there was a, uh, a male teacher uh, that went in the grades from. Uh, I think he started the fifth grade, fifth grade to the rest of it, and then uh, we have had a, a female teacher. That she was the uh, uh, teacher in the lower grades. And they did a pretty good job. 
did you, how about supplies that you had to bring to school? Did you have to bring anything or everything or? If you need, if you need supplies, you better get them in town uh, because then you wouldn't have, uh, they, we didn't, and it wasn't, we didn't go, go to town all that often either. Uh, it was a, a town when you'd say, well, I'm going to go to town today. Well, uh, that was a pretty good trip. Okay. Did you have any friends in school? Do you remember any names by any chance? Oh, yeah. I remember old Wayman Garner. Uh, he was a, a friend of mine and in the same grade. And uh, uh, then the, we had the Jack Banks, I remked him. Uh, the Banks clan, there were several of them boys. And uh, the McQuarrie kids, uh, uh, I don't remember their, very many of their first names. But uh, then we had uh, uh, the Williams bunch. There's several of the, several of them. Okay. And, let, let me ask you this. The school in Coldwater, can you tell me about the buildings and the surroundings there? Can you what now? The building, the school at Coldwater, can you tell me or describe the building and the surroundings? The, the, what, what motivated the school? No, just what the school looked like to you there at Coldwater. What did the building look like to you? Can you describe the building? Well, the building was just a, just a kind of a, a, a shotgun deal on this laid down and had two rooms, one here and one here. And uh, each, each room was, was uh, regulated by the, by the uh, grade of the whoever, what the grade was in the in the most of in the grade uh, uh, the the upper grade was from from the uh, fifth to the seventh and that was it when you get to get the seventh grade there at Coldwater's that was it that was uh, uh, you graduated seventh grade and uh, then. Um, on the, in the primary, you, uh, uh, it was the first through uh, the fifth, you know, or the, the, the fourth, really. Okay, when you uh, did a recess at school, I mean, was there anything to, like, seesaws or any merry-go-rounds or any kind of playground equipment? Oh, yeah, we had a lot of equipment. We had basketball, that's it. That was it, okay. Because <laughs> you had bash you. <laughs> Nothing else, you know. I, it wasn't, and well, in the, in the summertime, we have, we've had, we, we organized play deals uh, like we wanted them. We'd have do something like kids do. Uh, they'll, they'll have a play, they'll organize some kind of uh, something to or to, uh, to entertain them. Okay, how about at the end of the school year? At the end of the school, did you have any special programs that you did? Anything except that said, okay, the end of the year, did you do anything special? I, the only thing I remember at that thing, uh, you see, no more school, no more, more no more books, no more Teachers, cross-eyed looks. We used, that was we used to say that. That was the end. And they went on, went home, and went to work. Okay. How about if you were, uh, were out at recess and you hurt yourself? Did you, the school nurse come and take care of you, or did you yeah, have a school well, nurse? Well, we had to be pretty bad. If we didn't have a school nurse or we didn't have one very close around. I, I just, I never did hear of a school nurse still. So I got in a, I don't know, way up in Winsboro School. Okay, here, I'm gonna ask you a good one here. Uh, 
How about discipline in school? How was discipline? It was fast. It was fast? Fast and furious. Okay. <laughs> I remember I, uh, one time I got in trouble on the way home. I got in trouble for fighting with some girls. They, they, I don't know what the, I don't know what it was about or anything, but, but we were got in trouble with the fighting, and then we, they, the girls got to there and told their story first, and then we, me and my brother and and another one or two, we 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 were in the minority, and and we had to to take tell what we we thought it was was the situation and. And usually we we lost, and I boy, that that no girl that should go out and, and have have kids to go out and, and get her a switch, and I mean it just if the switch was just a just a big old long limb, well, it, it wasn't it wasn't that fierce, but it was it was about like that, and, and they could draw some blood or. Or they could they could really make a mark on you. You didn't want it. <laughs> uh, you know, let's go back to when you brought your lunch at uh, at school. You know, you say you brought sweet potatoes. What did you bring to drink? Well, we had you usually a lot of times time we we just just drink water. We'd go down to the spring and get us some water and drink water, but as Time went on, and we got a little more sophisticated. We we'd carry some milk to school, and we, what we carried in was a pint whiskey bottle, and we just fill it up, and and everybody had one, and I say everybody, most of them had one, and, and we would tie a string around the top of it, and we'd drop it down in that spring down there, and which was a it was that I can, uh, it seemed to me like it was awful deep then, but it was, it was probably about that deep. And uh, we'd uh, let that milk in that, in that uh, whiskey ball down in there and, and, and tie it outside where it would fall down and we could retrieve it at noon. And, uh, and it, 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 it was, well, somebody say, I remember they they say, boy, this milk's ice cold. It was <laughs> it was a long way from ice cold. It was, but it was it was cooler than the outside. Okay. Yeah. How about at the end of the school year? Uh, was there any kind of uh, awards programs or anything like that? Yeah. The only thing. And it was, a, I guess it was a award. It was, you'd either pass or you didn't pass. And that, that was about the big thing. And uh, outside of that, that, there wasn't many awards given. Okay, do you remember what year you graduated? You graduated, I, I came out of that school in, uh, that, uh, let me see, I don't know, I don't remember what year that was, I was, I was just a little, still a little kid, I think I was, I was in about the fourth grade, something like that, and, but that was, that was up the creek for me, it was up to Po Uh, how did you get, after, after you went to that, did you go to another school? Yeah, what? After you went from Coldwater, did you go from an up to another school? Yeah, I went from school, Coldwater. We started started school up in Woodsboro, and uh, and she, I went two years, I think, in grade school, and then I went to and then I went into uh, uh, to uh, high school. And uh, finished up in high school. Mm 
Um, let me let me scoop back and stuff about the celebration at the end of school. At the end of school, what Ce did you celebration? Yeah. You know, we I don't remember ever us having one one at the end of our school, but one one you had a uh, an aunt that was was teacher down at uh, Merrimack, uh, and Merrimack was a little place on a railroad, way, way back down southeast of Wonderboro, and. Uh, so, and we, we uh, uh, so uh, she, uh, on, on my, when we had, when the time Gum Brothers turned the school out, uh, which was early spring, you know, so we, because people were anxious to have their children to help them work around the farm, and, uh, and uh, anyway, we would uh, uh, would have everybody would bring a a, a, a jar of, of, of tomatoes or or have somebody bring a chicken and somebody bring something else you know just a lot of potatoes or things like that and and would somebody bringing the wash pot a small wash pot and we'd put all that stuff in there and, and stir it up and at noon we'd have a big stew. Okay. That, that's something that's past, I imagine. It, uh, it doesn't, doesn't exist anymore. And it was, a, it was a fun time. I remember that. It was, I wasn't a part of all about that. But we went to school with my aunt because she taught school down there. And we had a lot much as much fun as anybody. My and my brother and, and, and we had we had a lot of fun. All right. Well thank you, Dad. Appreciate ask, it. Ask him one more. If okay. you, put, you put on you, they put on any plays at Christmas. Okay. During Christmas time, did you do any Christmas time? Yeah, did they do any plays or did we, you know, anything like that? Christmas time just to our school. It was just like any other day. It was, uh, it, we, we just didn't have, we might have been, we might have turned out in it, turned out a day of school, of school. I can't remember for sure, but it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. Do you recognize any of these buildings? Oh, I thought there was just like an old school building up there. All right, how about this in here in the school, the school and the city hall look a little bit different. Well, the, school, the city or high school look about like this. Yeah, that, that uh, I don't remember the city hall. I remember that, that building there more than any of them. But uh, some of this, this was like one of the buildings, maybe the old South Ward or I'm not for sure. How One about, the, how about the gym? Is yeah. that is that the old rock gym? Yeah, it it was pretty good size. Yeah. And, uh, you recognize any of the houses, like the Carlock House or the Lamford Stinson's? Yeah. Do you remember they, those? Yeah, they were on the on the other streets. Uh, the, uh, they were. Their boyfriends, away from my school. They were right, not not right adjacent to the school. Okay. How about how about the depot? That now that depot looks more like the my school that we had down in Gladewater. In Gladewater, we had a long building like that, and that was a school building. But uh, now, I remember the old the old. Uh, uh, depot like that. I remember it up there. And, uh, I don't know. If, if, I don't know whether it's still there or not. They every, every once in a while, some of these progressives they decide to trash can everything in the future. I mean, the, in the past, and just dwell on the future. I guess that's the way it goes. <laughs> Anything else, ma'am? Um, what did his dad do while he was in, um, in this area? What what was his job in this okay. area? Okay, well, uh, your dad, Louie, 
what did he what did he do and stuff when he lived here in this part of the country you know he was a telegraph operator in Amarillo but what oh, he, what did he do here what did my dad do here yes you know I don't know I know he worked it for the uh, Union telegraph op telegraph office here he worked for them for a while but outside of that I don't know who who he worked for but he worked for somebody and learned how to, to uh, run, a, run a telegraph. And he said he, the only thing bad he he had to have a, a little nipple on with it, <laughs> and uh, and that that kind of kind of spoiled him. But but he uh, she said he was he could get a job in it where. He, he, he might not be able to keep it, but he can get one. And any stories he'd like to tell? You know, anything yeah. you'd like to add about Coldwater? Yeah, any any stories that you'd like to tell about uh, your time in Coldwater? Any like kid stories or anything like that? Any stories you want to come well, up with? Well, I remember there was a a chestnut tree across the road. Uh, about it was it was back in maybe a hundred yards back off of the road, and uh, that uh, us kids in when it uh, come recess, but boy, we'd head for that chestnut tree and uh, pick those things up and eat them, and everything. and. I, I guess that uh, if there were chick were uh, what they call uh, blueberries now, they would hook them, but we call them huckleberries. And uh, every, there was quite a few of them out, and it, 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 everybody gathered in them up. I tell you, it was a, it was a, it was a good time. Uh, it it uh, it was a it was a good time in bad times. Let me ask you this: What do uh, you remember? What things cost? What, what what things cost? Like eggs or milk or gasoline? Do you remember how much it cost? I you know I remember one time uh, that but that uh, they had a what they call a gasoline war there in Munchburg. My my. My my uncle, uh, Red Martin. He uh, he was a consignee of for, for Texas Texaco, and uh, you could buy. That's I remember that he had some some pumps there where yeah, some of them, most of them, you wouldn't remember where the shaded rink was, but. It was right there where the shaded drink is, and there was anyway. Uh, uh, he he had that this place that that uh, uh, station there, and he you could buy gasoline for six cents a gallon. Now they called it gasoline. It was really it was just busted. It was just it's just. Something that it, it's a part of a part of, part of of, of uh, production. Uh, if anybody knows anything about the uh, oh, but it's about it was what called white gas. But that white gas you could buy it for nearly nothing. How about your food staples? Huh? How about your food? What did it cost? Your foods. Like eggs, milk, milk, food. Yeah. Well, uh, old. Uh, gosh, I don't think of his name. But he, he, he had a he had a, down there at the corner of of uh, Maine and then me down down there right there just across the railroad and uh, he. Uh, he, he had a, uh, a place there where he sold hot dogs and 
and hamburgers and things like that, you know. And uh, and I guarantee you, for a, for a dime, uh, you could buy more than you could eat. With a, with a, I mean, it was a big, big, big deal. But uh, he had a nickel hamburger. And that nickel hamburger, it left you, it, it just cybered your appetite. I mean, you you booned a little bit more, but it it was a, it was it was good. Right. Yeah. Let, let yeah. me ask you one more question. Uh, I, go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Old uh, Dad Brewer, he had a place up 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 the street up there, and uh, he made. Uh, they call it a Coney Island. He tasted such a uh, winner and, and cut it half in two and plop it on a little pan he had there and, and heat it up pretty good. And then he'd put it on a bun and put some other stuff with it. And I'll tell you, he'd, put, he'd give it to you and it was, a, it was delicious. It really was. It was he, he had a touch. I don't know where he got it, but he had a touch. Boy, he could put make that thing just melt him out. Okay, but how about, uh, how did everybody get around? Did they... How did they get around? Well, they, they, uh, by the time that I remember, uh, the, the uh, Model T, and it was beginning to uh, show itself, and and the model A, there a few, few model A's around, and those uh, model A's, I remember uh, the way they sounded. They when when they'd come down the street, and a lot of people were like that, that yeah, they'd get in their car and that there, and and uh, they'd crank that thing up and have it just, I mean, get it to where that spark is just. Just keep barely keep it running, you know, and it just poof, poof, and it just down down the street. Everybody, everybody. Sometimes they they a few few men that had those things like that. They uh, they wanted to show them out, you know, and this so that's the way they did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome.